Hello creators, I'm Barbara Dubay and I am going to be talking to you today about pain relief, pain relief. Now, uh, are you uh, trying to get your project and trying to get your idea out into the world, but really in pain, especially if it's chronic, you know it can be a drag. Now, I wanna just talk about pain through the embodied perspective, which is truly giving you very clear signals how to get pain relief if you pay attention to that. Now, pain is a, is a signal for you to be attentive and to take action, yeah? Meaning to very, very simply make some changes in your life. What I wanna to talk today about is that most of us um, have pain in our life or chronic pain in our life simply because we are not giving the attention and making the change needed that our body would actually ask of us to do. So I'm gonna talk about some immediate pain help which you can do right now if you're in pain to get you started on that relief. First one is relaxation. All right, so our body, when we're in pain, it's very natural to contract and pull away from pain, right? or to try and as if go away from the pain. Fact is, we cannot go away from our own body. <laughs> we can't go away from, from the pain. And most of us tend to contract our body instead of really physically tuning in and being very attentive to that pain while practicing relaxation. So one very, very effective way to do that is, let's say your hand hurts or your, let's say your low back hurts. I want you to contract it and hold it for a minute and really, really feel it and then let it go and release it. While relaxing, while letting it go, take a few really deep breaths and really feel that you're relaxing that back. Now you can do this a few times, contract and release while relaxing and breathing. A second very important element around pain relief is movement. For most of us, when pain starts coming, we try and actually instinctually hold against that pain. We try and, you know, make the pain immobile. But they know, we know, um, also from years and years ago, if you were immobile while you were in, in pain, walking on the tundra, you became food, all right? We didn't have um, rehabilitation and all of that. Our bodies heal through movement. Now that doesn't mean go wild and crazy and again, ignore your pain, but with the pain that you are experiencing, start making gentle and clear movements within that pain and feel what can I do? What can I allow within the range of where that pain is, okay? Try, try to relax and let go of the stiffness that's created by contraction and get that area moving. It's kind of con counterintuitive, but it's actually what it creates a lot of blood flow to the area, a lot of oxygen to the area, and allows you to literally move through the pain, okay? Most of us um, create further pain by the stiffening response that we create when something is painful, right? So pay attention. The area that's painful Pay attention to what areas above and below the area are you holding stiff and try consciously to relax those areas. Try consciously to move those areas. Even if for, let's say, the low back or the hand is painful, we don't need to hold our shoulders. So even if you need to gently move that area, try while you're doing it to relax and move the areas above and below. Number four, breathing. When we are in pain, we tend to hold our breath, yeah? Again, we tend to do, make a contraction or to pull away. Increasing your breathing is extremely important for one basic reason. Breathing creates healing, yeah? And secondly, literally breathing allows oxytocin and the wonderful, wonderful and very pain effective, yeah? Uh, hormones of our system to get activated and to deal with that pain. When you are holding your breath, you are losing a ton of 
ton of energy and you're not getting all the nice drugs that our body naturally has to deal with pain. So breathe a lot, a lot more. Even if you think, wow, it hurts to breathe, really breathe and relax while doing so. And the last one is a resistance uh, exercise. Most of the time we have been taught to resist pain, right? It's bad, and I'm not suggesting that it's great, but we are passively resisting or pulling away. What I want you to do is actively do that. So let's take your back again. I want you to push against the back, really push for a minute while you're really breathing. And then relax and take a few full, simple, deep breaths and then repeat it a few times. Again, let your pain guide you to how much is too much. Pay attention. But resistance gives your body, again, a, the type of movement that it needs to get that area back into flow. If you would like to know more about embodiment for subjects such as pain relief all the way down to procrastination and other issues, check out my YouTube page, follow me, and I wish you much success with your pain relief. Mm -hmm.